The following is a selected video from masterthecontent.com where you will find an extensive video library of lectures for a variety of standardized admission tests. We offer over 600 hours of detailed video lectures for a multitude of standardized tests. Use our interactive in-lecture table of contents to find specific topics of interest. Work through numerous in-lecture examples to help you internalize concepts. To learn more, visit masterthecontent.com. Your career, our passion. So like we said, when something is to the zeroth order, that means it's independent of the concentration. So this here makes complete sense, right? Furthermore, when you don't see a number, it's just like having a one there. And when the order of the reaction is one, we just said that the overall reaction order is first order. And if there's, if there's nothing here, like we said, it's just a one. One plus one is two. So that the overall reaction order is second order. That's how you would say that. And then if there was a one here, so one plus two is three. So then the overall reaction order is third order. Great. One other thing that I would like to bring to your attention is the units for the rate constant are the molar per second. However, the units for the rate constant K, that depends on the order. So the units for k for zeroth order is the same as the rate constant, which may, uh, the same as the rate, which makes sense. When it's first order, here are the units. Second order, here are the units. Third order, here are the units for the rate constant. So let's actually do an example here, so you're comfortable, because somehow there's always an, uh, a question that pops up on this stuff. So we already said that the units for rate are molar per second, so we'll just pick that up over here, right, we have one concentration here, we have another concentration here, squared, isolate for k, this is going to give us, oh, the following, okay, great, do a little bit of cancellation, and we're left with, you can add, there's a few ways to write this. You, you'll see it written as we see right up here, right? Like right up here. Another way you can actually write this is you can just write, write it like so. Another way that you can, it's very popular way of writing it is just as such. Okay, great. So all three are acceptable ways of writing it. And that is just square there, just in case. Okay, wonderful. Now let's move on to our next slide. Okay, let's take a here. Example rate law. Which of the following is true regarding the rate law? Reaction order is defined with regards to the reactant concentrations and not product concentrations. Yes, that's true. We just saw that. Rate laws are always determined experimentally. Yes, that's also true. It's important to remember. The order of a reactant bears no relation to the stoichiometric coefficients. Yes, we just mentioned that as well. So here our answer would be D, since all of the above are correct. Okay, wonderful. Let's move now to our next example. 